Ah. Oh, there he comes. Best young funeral director of the year. You ever going to stop banging on about that? Come on, Todd. We have to celebrate our successes. Bacon in the pan if you fancy a butty. Oh, we might want to skip breakfast. First lesson might be embalming. Don't scare the lad. I'm not scared. I'm providing an important service, and embalming is part of that service. Spoken like a true funeral director. No doubt it'll be my favourite part. What will be? Cremation? Oh, stop it. Honestly, it's all fine and dandy once you get used to it. I'll let you both into a little secret of mine. I like to chat to them. Oh. Me bods. I know, George. I've heard you. We often have a little laugh together. Well, they're not laughing. They're dead. No, but I am. Well, I'm not laughing exactly. I am professional. But, you know, tittering at the complexities of life and death. When we first met, I used to worry about your fixation with dead bodies, and now you've turned my son over to the dark side, getting him to titter whilst massaging the deceased. So there's any massaging going on? Oh, no, actually, massaging helps to relax the muscles once rigor mortis is set in. Great, excellent. So I think I will skip that bacon, buddy. Should we just go? Yeah. Have fun. Ta right, love. Mm. I was just telling your mother what unnatural you are with the deceased. Mm. For your deadpan sense of humour. Ah, the mum jokes. You enjoying it? I don't think enjoys the right word, mum, but it's opening up my eyes. There's a lot goes on behind the scenes. Is it gruesome? I can handle it. Oh, I don't know if I could. Dead body in front of me, cold as ice, a slab of meat on the table. Oh, do they smell? Meat's nice and tender today. Thank you. Yeah. I'll just get the other one. Are you feeling queasy, love? I'm fine. Stop yapping on at me. Yeah, even the naturals get the heebie-jeebie sometimes, look. Just think of the pay rise. Your mum. Make sure you always have a copy of The Green. What? What's The Green? Shouldn't you give it a rest, love? You've been at it all day. <sighs> You're right. I, I need George's help for this anyway. Oh, Mum, all I can see in my head's dead bodies. Well, isn't that what the job's about, love? <laughs> yeah, but they're usually a bit more distant. You know, a person that I'm talking about with the family. I look at photos, I talk about their life. This is dealing with the physical body a bit more intimately. I really respect George. He's so easy going about it. Maybe that's why he's so easy going. How do you mean? Well, having to deal with death like that physically in front of you, maybe you just accept things. We're all going there. Oh, your ears burning. Not even going to ask what you were saying. Well, it was a pity because it was a compliment. It actually was. For you. It's not someone's ashes, is it? I've, I've had enough for one day. Of course it's not. Just open it. I've been telling you to get cards done for ages. Yeah, I know. But now felt like the right time. Read that text. Wow. I'm that proud of you. I've still got no idea who nominated me. Well, whoever it was. You've obviously seen your talent. 